Hello my friends and welcome back to our continuing blind let's play Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. My name is the Flightless Bird. This is your story based game channel and today we start with the with the actual case three of the second game in the trilogy. Uh, that being whatever whatever it's called. Turnabout I believe it takes place at an academy. Let's call it Tur Turnabout Academy until we know for sure. But yeah, uh, let's not waste any time. Let's jump into it, shall we? I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day. Episode 3, Turnabout Academy. I must have seen this name somewhere. There's no way that I got that right. Themis Legal Academy. A prestigious high school with alumni in the highest echelons of the legal world. Okay, this almost looks like an anime. I know it's an animated scene, but I mean... Teacher killed. Three students look on. Which one did the killing or did they all do the killing? You know, I'm getting uh, very powerful flashbacks here to our let's play of Master Detective Archive's rank code when he had that one case that took place in the school. October 24th, 1.25 p.m., Demis Legal Academy. Oh no, I'm gonna be late. Very pretty school. It even has the law logo at the very top. You see that? Ah, ah, finally. So, this is it. The Alexis Demis Legal Academy. This is the place where many distinguished lawyers and prosecutors got the start. When news spread that Mr. Wright had gotten his attorney's badge back, he received a call from the school asking him to pay a visit. Mr. Wright brought us along, hoping we'd learn something from the experience. But no, I had to go and blow it by getting here 30 minutes late. At least it's not all business today. After all, today's a school festival. Oh, look at this. Just Tisha's diner? Classic cute and classic cafe. Okay. That one's clever. Guilty dogs. Uh, five. Got the, uh, the Qatar back there. I wonder if that's the, uh, same band as from before. The culpable curry. Or curry. And, of course, just art exhibit. Because why not? <laughs> First floor hallway. Wow, this place is a school festival, then all of it, literally. But why are the cold stairs? Is it because everyone's in a school uniform except me? But I like the way I dress. Wonder where Mr. Wright and Apollo are. Your attention, please. This is an announcement from the mock trial committee. The mock trial will begin shortly. All students and faculty are both prepared at once to the next hall. Oh, cool. Sounds like a mock trial is about to start, but where's this lecture hall? Ah, uh, looks like all the students and faculty are headed that way. Might as well join them. Maybe I'll find Mr. Wright in a pillow there. So the mock trial is going to turn into an actual trial? Ooh. Oh, well, this looks cool. October 24th, 1.33 p.m. Themis Legal Academy, third floor lecture hall. This must be the lecture hall. Wow, they said some serious money on this place. The district court can't be even compete. Hey, Athena, over here. Ah, Mr. Wright, Apollo. I've been looking for you. Too. I'm so sorry I'm late. It's okay. 
I'm sorry we couldn't wait for you. But we don't want to be late our, for our meeting. Lucky for you, the person we're supposed to meet also seems to be running late. Mr. Wright, Mr. Justice. It seems Professor Court has yet to arrive. Court. Not Courtney. No, this is Professor Court. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, you look like some sort of Greek god statue come alive. <laughs> Professor, very good visitors. Your esteemed institution waiting like this. I shall make a right, I will know. What do we have here? Oh, right. You have been introduced yet. Oh, yes. You must be the young lady Mr. Wright was telling me about. I am honest. Aristotle. I am Aristotle Means. Oh, Professor, at this holiday of level learning. I will see the lie across here. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm a data scientist. I recently got my tennis patch myself. It's nice to meet you, too. How oh, wonderful. So vigorous and vivacious. You just earned yourself a gold star. Oh, my God. God, that is disturbing. I can't unlook, I can't unsee it. I mean, that's like, what is going on with the other side of your mouth there? Eee. Wow, thanks. That big smile is kind of scary. <laughs> When the protagonists are on the same page, yeah. Watch a good start already. That big smile of his is kind of scary, though. Looks like the mock trial is about to begin. What are we going to do about a meeting? Oh, speaking of the mock trial, do either of you know what it's about? Oh, but I thought we had a pamphlet to your office. Right, the pamphlet. Whatever happened to that? You won't be seeing it again. Just use it for the old rip it up and restore it to <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't work as advertised. Well, it seems I had better explain the situation then. Thank you, Professor. Oh, yes, yes, well, video now. Demon's Legal Academy. No, does anyone have any questions? I do, Professor. Could you tell me all about the school? What an excellent question. Here's a gold star for asking. Our academy has three courses to choose from. You see, a student's going to be liars take the liar course, and likewise, but any prosecutors take the prosecutor course, and uh, future judges take the uh, judges course. Well, you have everything here for someone who wants to be seriously pursue a career in the. Isn't in uh, America? I'm not entirely sure of this. I'm sorry, I don't know much about the law profession. But isn't America normally a judge? Was a former prosecutor? Like, you, you first become a prosecutor or a defendant, and then you become a judge. You don't just become a judge. Like, I'm not really sure how you become a judge, but I'm pretty sure you don't just become a judge, right? Most judges are going to be older. I think. As not to say, if you're a judge, you're an old person. Someone in my comments is going to be like, I'm a judge, flightless bird, and I resent that remark. I'm only 24. I'm sorry, I don't know. That's why I'm asking, so please... Educate me, I would love to know. Yes, well, that's what makes us go special, and today even more so. After all, we are to be treated to a lecture by the legendary attorney Phoenix Wright. 
We can't wait to hear all about his return to the legal profession. Oh, we're gonna give a special speech? You're giving a lecture, Mr. Wright, but you're not even a professor. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, well, I'm just giving them what they want. And this game did come out after uh, Ace Attorney Investigations. Although, Ace Attorney Investigations, I don't think it has really a lot of plot to this game. Uh, they, they feel like they existed different timelines. Because I don't think we'll see any crossover with AAI and uh, the uh, the it's apo the, uh, the the Apologist trilogy. Even though I don't think the Apologist trilogy is the right name for this trilogy, but yeah. Anyway, today's plans. Uh, did you even know you were meant to be giving a lecture here today? Yeah, sort of. But I came here early because I was supposed to have a meeting. With the head of the judge course, Constance Court. Aww, I want to see um, I want to see our judge from AAI, cause she was amazing. I loved her. She was great. The way she smiles is also really creepy, though. It's been a whirlwind of a morning. Let's leave it at that. Oh, Professor Court. She's a wonderful instructor, but quite unpunctual. Oh, so that's his right. Who would have heard or seen Mr. Wright here? He's scheduled all the training seminar tomorrow in addition to today's lecture. A training seminar? For lawyers? What exactly does that involve? Why, it involves the very skills to make a lawyer a lawyer! <laughs> The arm angle when shouting objection in the proper way to strike the podium. I have no idea if that came out right, and that didn't make any sense. I slapped my leg, which is flesh. I need like a thump sound, and I don't really have a thump. Hold on. I don't know if anyone heard that or if that sounded weird, but yeah, as we thump in the wall, I still don't think that's the right sound. I have no idea how that sounded. I'm sorry if that busted your eardrum. How to project one's voice, and most importantly, how to bluff your way to victory. Huh? Um, who exactly do you want me to teach stuff like that to again? What a wonderful question. You just earned yourself a gold star. This guy is so weird. He, he looks like a statue talking. The great honor of taking a seminar by a famous lawyer, a famous prosecutor. That is what is at stake in this mock trial. The crown jewel of the school festival. The mock trial. The mock trial in question is a prestigious event that every student aspires to win. The top student in the lawyer course and the top student in the prosecutor course. Face off in a simulated court case set in this very school. As for the case itself, we spark the best script written by judge course student and base our case on that. Oh, a one-on-one -on -one battle, how thrilling. So, if the student studying to be a lawyer wins, they get to take my training seminar. But what if the other student wins? I'm not a prosecutor, so... Oh, there's no cause for alarm. We have a famous prosecutor ready for just such a case. Oh, is, a uh, is, uh, Francesca here? I mean, Edgeworth would be cool too, but I would love to see Francesca. She's great. But exactly what it is, well, that's a special surprise. A famous prosecutor? No, it can't be. Uh oh, is it gonna be Black Will? Please let it not be Black Will. I have a feeling it's Black Will. Please let it not be Black Will. I mean, he's kind of in jail, right? It would be really weird if he was your honored guest. Professor Means, please forgive me for interrupting you, I guess. I don't know who it is yet, so I'm not going to give him a voice. Oh, hello. Uh, 
Uh, Juniper Woods. Juniper Woods. Why is that name so familiar? Was there a Juniper in uh the Ace Attorney Investigations game? I I I just feel like I've seen this name before. And I don't know why I've seen this name before. I know I've seen this name before. I know I've seen this name before and I just I'm like blanking on where I've seen it before. I'm Juniper Woods, a senior in the judge course. Professor, the trial will begin shortly. Since you'll be delivering the pre-trial speech, would you mind waiting up in the balcony until we're ready for you? My, how very organized you are, Juniper. You just earned yourself a gold star, too. But what about Professor Cart? Well, I suppose she'll eventually arrive. Now then, I trust you will look after our visitors, Juniper. Yes, of course, Professor Means. Juniper? Juniper Woods? Is that you? Huh? Then, Athena? I almost didn't recognize you. I didn't know you're back from Europe. Wait, you two know each other? Now that's a coincidence. We've known each other ever since we were kids. We're like best friends, right, Jenny? Yes. Well, we live close to each other. So we used to play in the forest together. Yeah, like a lot. Why would she look at me? I know I've seen her before. I know I've seen Juniper Woods before. I'm not going crazy. I am not, I'm not, I'm not going crazy. Uh, hold on one second. I am booting up. I have a suspicious feeling I know where I've seen her before. Was she from case one? Uh, fast forward through my first video. Um, Junie. Yeah, she called her Junie. At about seven and a half minutes into my first video of this game. She looked very different. But she still had that sunflower thing on her hair. Her hair looked different because it was in, uh, what, pigtails in the first game? And also, she, like, there's nothing in this first case that made me think that she's, uh, so, uh, this is Jenna Boyd. She's my dear childhood friend, and she's also my client for this case. The news keeps repeating that Junie is alleged bomber. But that's ridiculous. There's no way that Junie would do anything like that. Yeah, th there's nothing in here to think, though, that she would be going to a school for for uh, lawyers, def uh, prosecutors, and uh, judges. Huh. Okay, I knew I, I knew I recognized her. Well, at least her name. She does look a little bit different. She still has a sunflower, though, but... Yeah, I recognize that name. Yeah, like a lot, a lot. Why would she look at me? So this is before they reunited their, reignited their friendship. And then, of course, in the future, she should be tried for being a bomber. So whatever happens in this case... This, this is the sucky thing about this, by the way. Whatever happens in this case, we know she's innocent. Because this case took place in the past. And the fact that she was not in jail in the future says that she didn't do anything wrong here. So hopefully there's nothing here that gives the suspicion of her being the victim. Or not the victim, but the uh, the assailant or the murderer. Because we know just, we know immediately it's not true, right? But then again, maybe if you've forgotten her name... But still, I mean, it's... Technically, this is the third case. We don't count the DLC. So, I mean, this isn't like... If you're playing this normally... Uh, you would get to this case within... What? A couple hours after the previous first case? You would instantly recognize her. 
I guess there should be spies since we haven't seen each other in a long time. Anyway, we're supposed to go wait in the waiting room, right? Now that I wouldn't mind taking another mock trial you're putting on today. Unfortunately, the mock trial is only for students and faculty. There is one seat reserved for Mr. Wright, but no other exceptions are allowed. I have no idea what voice I gave her, by the way, so I'm just gonna give her this voice. Heck, she might have changed in a couple of months. You never know. Yes, I'm very sorry, but it's better to sort of crackle on my trial. I hope you won't mind remaining in the waiting room until the trial concludes. Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping to learn something new today. I'll tell you what, Apollo. Why don't you take my place? What? Really? Sure. Besides, I'd like to meet with Professor Court as soon as she gets here. Aw, oh, no fair. I want to see the mock trial too. Sorry. I'm going to let Apollo pull what Lil Mankey has, if it's okay with Professor Means. But of course, Mr. Wright. That is what you wish. That looks so weird. It's settled then. We'll expect a full and detailed report. Apollo, so pay attention. Tisk, being the new kid sure stinks. If you would please follow me, I'll escort you down to the waiting room on the first floor. October 24th to 15 p.m. The Miss Legal Academy. First floor, waiting room. So the question is, the scene that we saw at the beginning of this case, was that a real murder, or was that just simulated to give it some extra effect? It looked real, unless they put in the production value to make it look fake, which I don't know why they would do that. Still, no Professor Court. It's been over 30 minutes. And Mr. Wright stood away on the sofa. This is so boring. I should have hid in the lecture hall and spied on the mock trial. Other question is, was Court the one who was murdered? I, I don't know. I mean, that that I didn't have a, an identity to go with the body I was looking at, so I can't even picture the body that was on the floor in my mind right now. Eek! What was that? October 24th, Demon's Legal Academy, first floor, Hawaii. Oh, Athena, I could have sworn I just heard something fall down and break. If you go running now, they'll think it was you. Well, well, it wasn't me. I think it came from somewhere outside. Oh, well, we better go have a look then. Seeing as everyone else is in the lecture hall. Okay. October 24th, Themis Legal Academy. Outdoor stage. Is the stage for some sort of concert? Reminds me of a courtroom. Wait, Athena, behold the witness stand. What? There's a body back there. An arrow? Is that an arrow? Eek! Yes, and that, that is, it's Professor Court. Professor Court, can you hear me, Professor? How in the world did she get shot with an arrow? Wait, that's who we were supposed to be meeting with? All the dots. It looks like our meeting's been canceled for us. No way, this, this can't be real. Reminds me of a certain scene from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Although I don't want to say anything specific because it did happen in like season, I want to say six. Yeah, I think it was season six. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I don't want to spoil for you. I call the police. They should be here soon. I'll go tell everyone in the next child too. No, wait. They'll find out soon enough once the police get here. Let's do our own crime scene investigation before it gets too crowded around here. Huh, are we even allowed to do that? It's no big deal. As long as we leave it exactly like we found it. Plus, no, never mind. Anyway, we should look around while the scene's still fresh. 
But, okay, you're the boss. Any ideas? In addition, checking the body, we should also check the area around it. Oh, we're playing as Athena in this one. So we've had one case we were Apollo, one case we were Phoenix, and now we're Athena. But we don't have much time. Check only what you can. Nervous, Athena. Yes, I, I mean, no, no. Apollo did it bad tonight at the Alderman's body during that case in Ninetales Vale. I can't let him show me up. I can do this. I just gotta take a deep breath and focus. About the matter. So, Professor Court was... Yep. Professor I was here to meet with. Turns out she wasn't running late after all. How awful. Hope she was here she was lying dead and we thought she was late. What was that you were saying before, boss? You never finished. Hmm? Oh, that. Don't worry. I'll fill you in. Later. But right now, let's focus on the investigation, okay? Uh, okay, sure. Ugh, the suspense is killing me. My brand new shiny badge shows that I'm a lawyer. Oh, a shiny new attorney's badge. Brings back memories. I've heard that countless people live in dread of your pointed finger. Were you really that scary back then, Mr. Wright? <laughs> Strike one. I've always been just as you see me here. A harmless sheep in most clothing. Wow. Strike two. Do you have an old picture of yourself? Wait, never mind. I'm not sure I want to see it. Strike three. You're out. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look around. We should start by saying the body. Hmm. I wonder what's the best angle for this. What angle? I'm a little bit confused. I can't really do anything else. I can't go back and forth. Everything I click on says what's the best angle. But I've clicked. I, I, I'm a little bit confused here. I clicked on everything on the screen. Oh, dang it. I was trying to move left to right for some reason by going left and right. I, I, I am an idiot. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm 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 just a really big idiot. Uh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I guess I really had to examine the body. Well, I better get used to stuff like this if I want to be a full-fledged liar. What do we have here? A book. I'm gonna say it fell out of her chest pocket. Wait, what if it's her diary? That's the most private thing a girl has. True, but considering the situation at hand, my apologies to the late Professor Court. No, don't. Hmm, looks more like a planner than a diary. 22nd routine report needs to begin with Hugh O'Connor. 23rd met with you about that report yesterday. Important. 24th, uh, 9 a.m., prepare for mock trial, final confirmation. 1 o'clock, meet with Mr. Wright about train seminar. 2 o'clock, mock trial begins. Interestingly here, it says important what about Mr. Hugh or Miss Hugh. Good question. Someone who. Every page seems to have the same sword mark imprinted on it at that. I still think a girl deserves a privacy, but this may help us solve the case. Court's planner added to the court record. Quonset's court's planner. Uh, sword emblem is painted, printed on the cover and on each page. 
Look at her hands. No saying anything strange about the body. Take a deep breath and have a good look. It looks like her hands are bound. Um, well, now that you mentioned it, there's no blood around it. Yeah, the victim's body is cold and Mega Mortis has already started to dissipate, so someone moved her body here. It would appear that quite some time has passed since Professor Quartz was murdered. The thing is, the quad was packed with students up until the start of the mock trial. Wait, then doesn't that mean she was killed at a different location? Oh, I know. The killer moved to here while everyone is in the lecture hall. That's a definite possibility. Notice anything else? Um, her arms are raised over her head and there are dark bruises around her wrist. Yeah, the professor was probably tied up with something. Eventually, her wrists were unbound, and as she reached up to stretch, she was killed. Uh, actually, I'm not so sure about this theory. Um, well, there's not exactly a lot to go on. Yeah, it looks like someone cut her loose. And then her hands naturally fell like this. Ugh, there's an auto stuck in her side. Gunshot wounds and stab wounds are pretty common, but auto wounds? This is a homicide anyway, slice it. In other words, we have a murder on our hands. A murder? Here? So, so that makes this arrow the murder weapon? Well, that and the bird that shot it. Right. But where could the killer have shot her from? The stage is a sea of obstructions. I'm no expert on archery, but it can't be easy to hit a target with this much stuff around. Would it be possible to kill someone by stabbing them with an auto? I'm not sure. Guess we better do some more investigating before jumping to conclusions. Arrow added to the court record. The arrow that pierced the victim's side is seen with blood. I think that's about all we're going to find out from the body for now. Nice work, Athena. Your face only turned five shades of pale. I was expecting 50. <laughs> We should probably take a picture of the crime scene just in case. Okay, I'm on it. Say cheese. Cheese? And I thought I was the one that twisted sense of humor. I think that should do it. Alright, let's take a better look around the area while we wait for the police to arrive. Has anyone even called the police yet? That's Juniper. I can tell by the sunflower. And then there's some other kids um, pending. Pending decoration of Love Box Campus? This pile of rubble sticks out like a sore thumb. Looks like the Book of Pottery, a plaster. Maybe this is the sort of noise that we have. Hmm, there were supposedly two statues on the stage. I soon recall hearing that a co wed from the Fine Art Club had made them. There were two. Then the thing over there is the remains of another statue. This could be related to the case. Let's take a closer look. There is something buried in the rubble. The Themis Herald. Wait, we shouldn't disturb it. Let's just read what we can. Final act in Twelve Love Triangle centered on campus she devil Juniper Woods. Oh, she devil. Level-headed lawyer, quest genius, and happily prosecuted quest student will go head-to-head -head in mock tire battle for the She-Devil's Black Heart. Wow. Hugh O'Connor has declared that he will confess to her if he wins. So is this just pumping up the mock trial or is this a real thing? Wait, what? I seriously wish I hadn't read that. You find that more shocking than discovering a murder victim's body? But, but, but we're talking about my friend Junie here. She never did guys on like that. Athena, you don't believe everything you read, do you? This article is clearly written with malicious intent. I'm not buying a word of it. You're right, but it's still disturbing, even if it's a third-rate tabloid material. Demon's Herald added to the court record. Got to read that. A school paper with a malicious scoop on an alleged love triangle be involving Junie. Well, 
Wonder what this was a statue of. Whatever it was, it was reddish purple in color. When Apollo and I first got here, both statues were already here, but they were covered up. I bet they were waiting to unveil them when the school festival moved here to this stage. You mean this sulfur bag looking thing was actually being used to cover the statues? I guess that just leaves the question. Were they broken by accident or on purpose? Hmm, what a puzzle this is. Mr. Roy, Athena! Oh, here comes Apollo. I've never seen anyone move that fast. <sighs> Listen, something big's happened. Yeah, you can say that again. I was at the mock trial when the police announced a body had been found on campus. A body has been discovered! Pew, pew, pew! I am just getting Monica Mavires when you said that. That's right, and we're the ones who phoned it in. We found Professor Court dead behind the witness stand over there. What? Can you show me? What the? We've already had a quick look at the body. It's definitely a homicide. What's the police get here? No, I know it's a homicide. I'm shocked because it's the same. Exactly the same. As what, the mock trial? Whoa there, Apollo. Take a deep breath and explain what you mean. It's the same. The body, that is. It's just like how it was in the mock trial. I knew it. What? It's like the mock trial? Someone has turned fiction into reality. I know it sounds crazy, but what? The body's location, the position, the murder weapon, and even the lack of pulling blood. It's all exactly like the mock trial, and this is where the trap is set. Because this means that someone knew what was going to happen in the mock trial. And then they staged this scene to look like this in order for the culprit to have attention be drawn on. What do I mean by that? I, I didn't say it very clearly. Whoever did the actual killing in the mock trial is going to be the suspicious one when it comes to this murder. Because they're going to say, oh, this happened exactly like a mock trial. Therefore, the person must also be the person who did it in the mock trial. When, in fact, the person who knew about the mock trial staged this scene to confuse us. This is a trap. This is all a trap. You're kidding, right? It can't really all be the same, can it? Absolutely is. October 24th, Themis Legal Academy, third floor lecture hall. The whole school's in an uproar. There won't be any more class today. A murder on campus? That's the last thing I expected at a legal academy. I'll go tell Professor Means what we observed when we discovered the body. You two wait here until you've spoken with the police. Yes, yes, boss. Ugh, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe we have to wait around here. I can't stay still at times like this. I hope Junie has a fit of shock over this whole thing. Ah, oh, Dina. Or, I mean, Athena. There you are. Junie, am I glad to see you. I was worried that. Don't worry about me. I am student council president after all. I need to be strong. Wow, really? How'd you go from student council president to future ace lawyer or prosecutor or judge or whatever to gardening green thumb girl? I don't know really know how to describe it, but she's she's like very different from who we met her as. Student council budget, it? Wow, I'm impressed. She's really changed. She used to be kind of sickly and shy. Juniper, was it? You mind if we ask you a few questions? Yeah. We're stuck here waiting for the police. And there's really not much to do. Sure. What would you like to know? I haven't seen you in ages, Juni. What's it been? Seven years or so? Yes, and I remember how you were always there for me, Athena. 
Um, maybe it's just me, but I wanted to ask why you seem so distant. Remember how you used to call me, Tina? I looked at better that way. It felt like we were sisters, you know? Yes, but I'm student council president now. And as a student representative of Demon's Legal Academy, I had to act properly. She was never like this, stiff and formal before. I knew you wanted to be a judge, but I didn't expect this. It's such a prestigious school, and you're in the judge course to be- Okay, so she wanted to be a judge. Yes, and Professor Court has been in charge of it until... Well, you know. Oh, right. Professor Court was a professor in charge of Judy's course. Constance Court. What sort of teacher was Professor Court? If I had to sum up in a single word, I'd say she was amazing. A judge must always seek the truth. That was her mantra. And she used it in trying to fix what was wrong with our school. She was a beacon of hope in this dark age of the law. What's wrong with your school? What did you mean by that? Oh, uh, nothing. Never mind. Am I imagining things? Or did I just detect something in Judy's voice? Definitely has changed. Professor Court chose my script for the mock trial. Oh, you mean all of the students at the judge course had to submit a script? And you also someone that she selected? That's amazing, Judy. Oh, Lord. Someone has a script. Whoever has a script is a guilty one. They're basically going to say that she is the one that did the murder. Because she's the only one who would have known about how the murder took place in the mock trial, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm seeing things too much into this. I'm trying to anticipate. Just just play, Buzzbird. And he also so much selected. Wow, that's amazing, Judy. Oh, the thank you. But now Professor Court is... Who would do such a thing? Just yesterday, we were working together, trying to get things ready. <coughs> Excuse me. She still has that cough, though. And she still breathes into the flower. Are you alright, Judy? Maybe you should uh, take it easy for a while. So she still got that cough. Guess she's not as strong as she pretends to be. The mock trial. Why do you need a script to show down between the lawyer and the prosecutor? Well, we were simulating a trial, so we needed a script as framework. All the details about the incident and the people involved are included in the script. We also prepared a crime scene, photos, a murder weapon, and other kinds of evidence. Wow, you guys think of everything. Must be hard getting all that ready. Yes, well, it was only Professor Court and I. After all, we didn't want the script or other elements of the mock trial to get leaked. We were the only ones in the entire school who knew all the details. It must have been a pain, pain in the... Er, I mean, that must have been really difficult. I wrote the script so that the case could go either way. That way, the defense and the prosecution both had an equal chance of winning. Heh, if you think that's all she's capable of, you got another thing coming. Who is this? Huh, who said that? Enter the guys planning for affection, I suppose. Juniper is genius. It doesn't stop at a brilliant script. Yeah! She gave an award-winning performance to defend it, man! Um, I think I found a rival to my cords of steel. <laughs> Cute, Robin. Aren't you going to introduce yourselves to the guests? Okay, which one is you? As student council president, I want to have you treated them rudely. Heh, <laughs> you're right. I heard Mr. Wright was bringing a couple of guests with him. Well, that would be you two. Apollo Justice and Athena Sex. Yep, I'm Athena Sex. And I'm Apollo Justice. Nice to meet you. I'll pass on the handshake. I'm studying to be a lawyer. The name's Hugh Hugh O'Connor. But some call me Mr. Perfect. Cause I never scored less than 100% on test. Haha. <laughs> That's right. Go suck it. Ugh, most pretentious introduction 
ever. <laughs> and what's with this hand? Is it glued to the inside of his pocket or what? Yeesh. Let me the first to apologize for you and so the rude reaction. Sorry! Now, here's my intro. I'm Robin Newman. I'm starting to be a prosecutor, just like the really cool guy that nails the bad guys. No! What's the sincerity? So, he makes part of it too. And what's that face like a trapsit for? Journey sure has made some unusual friends. <laughs> These two were the lawyer and the prosecutor in today's mock trial. And even though I wrote the script, I also played the part of the defendant. Final act, it told the tangles, sent it on campus she devil, Jennifer Woods. Level-headed lawyer, course genius, and happily persecutor, course student. We'll go head to head in a mock trial battle for the she devil's black heart. Wait. These two are the guys who supposedly have a thing for Junie. Heh. <laughs> Juniper, come on. He rolls way beyond just that. Well, that's right! My house is start! This is also a school festival main event! Live on stage! Juniper wins! The crowd goes bananas! Ah. Uh, I'm... I'm supposed to sing at the school festival. All of the other girls were too embarrassed to try it, so... My, Junie's singing on stage in front of people. Wow, she really has changed. Your performance. I was responsible for making everyone stage costumes. Oh, that looks familiar. Like... That is exactly her costume. I mean, even with the uh, the, the the brooch gem, isn't it? Is it the same? I believe it's the same. And this is what I'll be wearing. Well, that's amazing, Ginny. But then again, you're always good at that kind of thing. These constellations in particular are really something. Oh, um, thank you. One of my favorite things to do is look at the stars in the middle of the forest. Huh. So you're a fan of the nice guy, then? What, Apollo? Didn't know you were such a romantic. Eh, it's not like that. I have this friend. He and I go way back. He got me really interested in space. Wait, you had friends when you were young? Kind of me surprised. Hey! As student council president, I cannot allow such mean-spirited teasing to continue. <laughs> Eep! Uh, I think she's angry. Stage costume added to the court record. Costume Junior was supposed to wear has a glowing star pattern with notes. The costumes were no problem, but as for singing, I'm not sure I. No! You can do it! That's right. And anyone who says otherwise will have to answer to me. It's like a chivalrous love tango, a damsel in distress in tonight's shin shining armor. Maybe that theme is Herald article was a too far for the truth. Speaking of the latest news, I wonder how the mock trial turned out. So one. So, how did the mock trial end? We were just about to reach a verdict when the peace arrived. Now we'll never know who it would have turned out. I guess that's what happens when there's a real murder during a fake murder trial. It ended right before the verdict. Talk about bad timing. Oh wait. Is Okan on the one on the right or the one left? Heh. Oh, they both can do it at the same time. How's that? I was this close, man! I bet it would've won! My benefits wasn't doing too badly either, right? Zen and the RM Master the Bar Exam. Oh, that's great. Who wrote it? Dang, I can't see the author. Wait, I'll set of this some other time. And I assure you, I will win when that time comes. <laughs> like, I'm gonna let that happen. I don't think so. I hope they don't end up hurting each other. Oh, don't worry. The three of us have been good friends since we involved here. 
Well, yeah. We even have a proof of our friendship. Proof? Like physical evidence? Proof? No, like, see, if we put our hands together in a square, you know, we see a big smiley face. It helps us know, to know that we're all here together, you know, it's a ring of friendship. Haven't you ever seen Yu-Gi-Oh? Yes, we're studying for a career in law, and in the legal world, evidence is everything. Yeah! As long as our friendship lasts, you bet we'll be carrying our hand around! Ah, uh, the famed Demon's Legal Academy Ingenuity at work. So, what exactly is this proof of friendship, anyway? Hmm, well... It's a secret. And if I show you, it would be bad luck. Oh, okay. I know it. There's definitely some discord in Junie's voice. Huh. Now, friendship is secret and inviolable. It's not something to be put cheaply on display, you know? Proof! We don't need no second proof! For your friends forever! I can hear Discord and the voices too. But they're talking about their friendship. What's going on here? Mm hmm. Something wrong, Athena? No, it's, uh, it it's nothing. Oh. Alright then. Hey, isn't that. Everyone, stay right where you are. Don't move us. Oh, I know what this is. This is Fulbright. Detective Fulbright? Is something wrong? Well, yeah, there's a murder. Why, if it isn't my little lawyer friend? Sorry, but this wild dog will have to wait. Jennifer Woods, you're under arrest for the murder of cause this court. I saw that one coming. Yeah, she's she, she's getting arrested for a, a for a crime, and two cases in the same game. Not only that, but two cases within three cases of each other. Because if we discard the DLC, there was case one, Jennifer Woods, case two, uh. Um, Damien. And then case three, Jennifer Woods. <clears> hmm. <throat> I think that would have someone new to pick on. I'm. What? Well, wait a second. What's going on here? Why are you arresting Junie? Please, Detective Fulbright. Who involved in this case, too? Aha! So, you're the lawyers that dispatch said were first on the scene. I can tell you everything, but I will say this, there are two major reasons for arrest. Number one, the suspect led some money to where the body was. I, I didn't. And number two, the crime scene is exactly how the suspect portrayed it in her script. I saw that coming. But you can't arrest her on just those grounds. True, but there's more. However, Prosecutor Blackwell specifically told me to say no more than that. So, Black was the prosecuting attorney on this one, too. Detective Fulbright, we found this in the suspect's pocket. Hmm, my, there's this blood on this. That's evidence we made for the mock trial. A mock trial? Never heard of such a thing, but it sounds fishy to me. Real fishy! It's almost like he just got back from the aquarium. Hmm. Now, if you would, officers. Yes, sir. But, but, uh, uh, I... Junie, I had to do something. I, I can't let them take her away like this. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Objection. Okay, that works. I refuse to believe that she's the killer! Junie! I've decided. I'm going to defend you. I'll fight with everything I've got! The... Dina. Aww. Junie, it's good to hear you say that name again. Hey, it turned out to be a bunny time, but aren't you rather new at all this? You're barely even a lawyer. 
Well, I don't have much experience, and I may need Apollo and Mr. Wright's help at times. But nobody believes in Jenny as much as I do. I'll help you too, Juniper. There's no way you murdered your professor. Dina. Apollo. Thank you both. I'm counting on you. And oh, maybe that's why she likes Apollo so much, because he was like her knight in shining armor. We got you back, Junie. Yes, things worked out after all. Now that you have your lawyers, Miss Woods, it's time for us to head back to the station. I can't believe Junie's been arrested for murder. And I can't believe I accepted a case without asking Mr. Wright. Take a deep breath and relax, Athena. I'm here to help with whatever you need. So let's get right on the case. Right. Yeah, I don't have the score left in the hand to rank amateurs. If anyone's going to solve this case, it'll be me. Time to investigate. But that smug little, he hasn't even finished law school. Yeah! That was totally rude! And you're not the only one that case, man! I'm in two big time! Juniper Woods! I'm gonna save you! Now that those two are gone, let's get back to what's talking about in front of the stage. I gotta be careful with his voice because I do have neighbors and I don't wanna like yell his voice, but I, I do my best. About the buck file, that is. Oh, right. You said the victim's location, position, and so on were just like in the script. Exactly. But without the script or any props, it's kind of hard to explain. Perhaps I could help. Air, forehead, oh, crud. Oh! Bosco to Gavin! What are you doing here? I totally forgot about Bosco to Gavin! Flightless! What is wrong with you? I, 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 for some reason it's, I mean, I should have recognized when I saw Air Forehead, but for some reason I just thought it was Blackwell. Dude, awesome. So good to see you, man. And he's got the awesome music too. Prosecutor Gavin, what are you doing here? He's the uh, prosecutor, right. You seem to know each other. Is someone going to introduce me? Why, I do believe we have a fresh face here. Greetings, Fraulein. I am Clavier Gavin. Some know me as a prosecutor, but I'm most famous for my former Vark bond. They were quite popular, you know. But forget it, the bond went kaput. Perhaps you've heard of us, the Gaviniers. I was the lead vocalist. Never heard of your band. Then again, I was out of the country until only recently. But can I get your autograph? <laughs> you just met him like three seconds ago and you want his autograph? Forgive me for lying, but I've retired from the music bees. But I'd be happy to offer my autograph as Vox Star Pasquita Clavier Gavin. Oh, okay. That one then. She's a lively one, eh, air for head. Didn't know that she was your type. Um, she's the newest member of Write Anything Agency, that's all. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Athena Sykes. A pleasure to meet you too, Athena Sykes. Now that the Inters are out of the way, I'm sure you have some questions for Ma, Sha, Air, for Head. Awesome! We got Clavier in the scene! Oh, this is great! I like Clavier. Clavier is great. He was a cool prosecutor. And I really enjoyed his interaction, so I'm really happy he's here. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and take a break. Much love to you all, my dear friends. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And uh, we'll be back really soon with our Blind Let's Play Ace Attorney dual destinies but until then so long and take care thank you for watching this video feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next i always love to hear your thoughts but before we go please remember that you matter and you are brilliant 
and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.